Hello X-Traders, and we are going to look at a very quick topic, but very powerful feature available on Thinkorswim. So let's dive right in. This is a chart of square or block. I recently typed in the Neo one, that's why that's there. It's not a glitch. We might use the same feature on Neo. So the thing is that today is Thursday and the market is closed, but right after the market closed, this is what Square did. Of course, it did so on earnings because it's earnings season, and of course, they obviously beat on earnings, but I believe the more impactful news was that they actually uh, raised guidance for next year. So the point is that we are used to drawing trend lines and support and resistance levels or what have you, and the cool thing about Thinkorswim is that as you are watching this resistance here, which was broken, yes, but only by a little bit, and very quickly, not even before the next day, it was already uh, back down below that uh, support resistance line. And then it tried to go back up and failed again here, as you can see. Again, a third time, failed. And then it did this thing, of course, and now, it reports earnings and it does this. Now, let's try to forget about the fact that it reported earnings. Let's just assume that this was trending back up, which was looking quite strong even before the earnings pop. So it's looking quite strong. And you look at a chart like this before today, before mar after market hours, and you think to yourself, well, gee, I would really like to be alerted to whenever this uh, square pops up above this line, right? And uh, also, it works for trend lines. So if you see this big trend line coming down here, right, it is touching this area here, it is touching this area again, right, and then it sinks below, even though it does cross over, it sinks below, and then it stays below for quite a few days, until such time today when it breaks up above. And we, if we switched over to the four hour, we could probably see that a little bit better. All right, so there is that trend line actually drawn probably on a four hour time chart. And there it is. It starts right there. It touches again a couple of times here. And finally, it breaks up above. So we want to be alerted to these kinds of situations. Well, you can do this right from your chart, which is the cool thing. So let's go ahead and start with the one hour that we were looking at, which is 20 day. And let's say that this hasn't happened yet and we want to be alerted uh, to whenever it breaks above 4605. So let's come over here and we can say create alert with drawing, right? And it'll tell us that intrabar price, if it crosses above that price level one, whatever price level one was, and if you recall, price level one is just the default name that it gives to whatever price level you drew on here and that is called price level one, right? And it just keeps going on level two, level three, level four, however many price levels you add, or you can come in here and actually change the name. So I'm not gonna do that, but what I wanna do is, is show you that you can create that alert right from the chart here and say, if it crosses above, then I wanna be alerted. And if you add many, then you probably wanna put in some kind of useful text. So like SQ uh, breakout right? Add an exclamation part mark just for fun. And you can be notified of different ways. I don't know if we've covered this in previous videos uh, on the Thinkorswim series, but you can be notified by number one, playing a sound, and you can test that sound right here. Okay, that is a bell sound. And you can choose from other uh, types of sounds, for example, the ding. And you can also have a push notification sent to your mobile device, which would be the mobile device that is on your uh, Thinkorswim or TD Ameritrade account, right? And of course, you can also have text messages sent or emails as well. So you can pick from whatever option uh, you would like and uh, you can hit create. Now you can also say show alert book after I press create. And that is because you might have old alerts in there. So hit create and it brings up the uh, alert book, which is part of this alerts sub tab on the market watch. And these are all the alerts that I have added, I guess, in the past. And those are still active. So we would probably want to uh, be getting rid of these because if, let's say, NEO breaks above uh, 35, right, then it would 
trigger. Of course, it's so far below 35 that it's not going to trigger anytime soon, but uh, you could go through your list and, and clear out whatever you need to clear out. Uh, back to the chart now. You can also do this with trend lines, right? So you can come over here to the trend line and say, you know what, I want to be alerted to whenever it crosses over this trend line number four, right? So you can do above or below. Of course, if you're uh, you're on a trend, li trend line, as is the case here, you could say, well, you know what, I want to be alerted if it crosses below this trend line, because then that means that uh, possibly this trend is going to be broken. But you can be alerted to that as well, okay? Or you can just do it whenever it crosses in either direction, okay? So that is a quick very helpful feature on Thinkorswim. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and drop some comments in the YouTube video comment section in case you have any other things that you would like to know about Thinkorswim and I would be happy to cover those. Have a great one. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.